Welcome. Today we're going to integrate Peachtree with Salesforce using Informatica On Demand in just a few simple steps. So let's get right down to it. If we can log into Informatica On Demand or use single sign-on directly from Salesforce, uh, and we can create a new data synchronization task. Um, you'll notice we have a simple six-step wizard to follow to integrate these two systems. And of course, uh, we can give the task a name. And then, of course, we can update or upsert, which means we're going to prevent duplicates by updating records that are already there and inserting ones that are not. Um, so, as far as our source goes, um, you know, we defined what it was. We're going to pick Peachtree as our source, a connection I've set up already. Uh, pick pick up uh, accounts as well, and all this information is available on the community site to help you be successful very quickly with Peachtree too. Um, you can pick your target. So your target's going to be Salesforce, of course. And we could have put this data from any source and to any target, uh, or vice versa if we wanted to. But essentially, we're going to take the data from Salesforce and we're going to put it into, or data from Peachtree, and we're going to put it into Salesforce accounts. Uh, now, we, don't, we could define a filter, but we're not going to. Those are those business rules for moving data. Um, the next step, really, is our field mapping. And so there's only a few fields we need to map uh, to be quick here. Uh, we want to take the name, the account name, which is linked into the customer bill name. Right? So we can take on the left side from Peachtree and on the right side Salesforce accounts and simply map them over. Um, another thing we want to do is the address. So of course we have the address field up here. For example, there's our street, address line one and two, and then we have city. So alphabetical order here, take our billing city, and then of course our state, which is down here. Postal code, I think in Peachtree it's called zip. And we're good to go. Now, one thing that's important in integration is to map that external ID to provide that cross-reference between systems. Um, in this case with Peachtree accounts, it's going to be the customer record number and we're going to link that into our external ID field in Salesforce. And this provides that cross-reference if we wanted to do bi-directional synchronization at some point in time. And that's it for the field mapping. So let's go on to our next step, which is schedule. If we wanted to run this uh, every couple minutes, every day, every hour, um, or just one time, uh, we can do all that right here. We'll save our task, and then we'll go ahead and run it. or 35 success rows so and we have success 35 success rows now you know going into Peachtree you can take a look we have a few different customers this is the sample that installs with the trial so I have everything from Alfred Aldred Builders to Williams Industries right so we go into Salesforce now uh, we can take a look at new accounts that were created this week um, and of course there's our Aldred Builders there's the information we put in there as far as the address the sh shipping code and of course the fact that we updated it just a few seconds ago. Now that's all that we have for today, so thank you for your time.